so sad a mood that even the flags expected to fly at half mast are coiled onto the poles despite the blowing wind. This was the situation at the British High Commission in Kampala, Uganda's capital city. As the world comes to terms with the passing of the Queen of England, Her Royal Highness Elizabeth II, a condolence book has been opened up. Kate Airy, the British High Commissioner to Uganda, has been the first to sign in the book. To be able to offer an opportunity for people to express that respect, that connection, we felt was very important. So we have opened up a full condolence book um, and we uh, are anticipating people from across Ugandan society to wish to sign that. The High Commissioner's memory of the Queen could take one, a whole day or even a month to talk about. But prominent among the recollections of the Queen are the leadership capacities that saw her work with over 10 prime ministers in her 70-year reign. She was a remarkable leader and I think many of us across the world have a very personal relationship with Her Majesty the Queen, one that you know we, we've often reflected on. I think even though um, at 96, I think this is still a shock to many of us, um, including us here at the British High Commission. This is why Kate Aire says that all leaders across the world, including herself, have a lot to learn from the fallen Queen of England. Here in Uganda, you know, I think, um, I, think I, I may have touched on it, but her connection with Uganda was very real. You know, those two visits, her presence here at Chogham, you know, I, I hope also that people can sort of be able to get a sense of um, a personal connection with Her Majesty the Queen from her time here in this country as well. A new Prime Minister was got just two days before her passing and a new King was pronounced just a few hours after her death. This shows how organised the political system is in the United Kingdom. Whereas there are maybe some adjustments not much will change as a 10-day period of mourning officially begins. Today is a profoundly sad day for the people of my country, uh, for the realms, for the Commonwealth and indeed for the whole world. Her Majesty the Queen was the longest reigning monarch, uh, 70 years of uh, service to my country. Elizabeth Alexandra Mary, known by her royal name, as Queen Elizabeth II was the Queen of the United Kingdom. Her reign lasted 70 years and 214 days long, being the longest ever recorded in the history of the British monarch. Henry Okrut, UBC.